Okay, we're back. We uh, we stopped so we could solder this. It's soldered on there now. Should have a decent connection. Um, I was going to put uh, some uh, yeah, if I had heat shrink tubing, I was going to put heat shrink tubing over this. Um, but I didn't have any. I think this will work for now. Uh, it shouldn't touch anything, shouldn't short out. So, set that aside for right now. Now that we got that done, we're going to go ahead and place our uh, brake line up in the skull. Get our screw. I centered it, so that's where it's going to be. We'll uh, put the screw down in here so we can get it on top of the brake tubing. And we're going to tighten that up here in just a second. And I'm using a long screw because I want to make sure that I can get it tight. Um, that way it don't, the motor don't spin and the head don't spin. tight inside that um, anchor anchor That's nice and tight. Before we uh, continue on, what I'm going to do is there's a flat spot on this motor. And that flat spot we need to make on this brake line. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in here. Zoomed in, so holler if you move. I'm going to take my vice grips and uh, I'm going to squeeze that tubing to that flat spot. Tighten up my vice grips just a little bit. Put that flat spot there. Give it a really good squeeze. I don't know if you can see the end, but we kind of flattened it out. And that is gonna what's gonna hold that brake line from the skull from spinning. So now that we have that flattened out, we can take our uh, neck, slide it up in here, get it to uh, pop back into place, we, uh, line it up with the hole. And something I did um, was where the neck and the head come together I made sure that groove was clean that way it was easily twistable um, there should be no issues with anything catching that way it don't put any excess pressure on your motor so it don't spin now we're going to take we're going to bring your motor up through the body going to find our flat spot Slide in there and start assembling our skeleton. Take this, put it back. 
back up around. It's a family affair. We got the dog over here, too. Get uh, your ribs lined up where the screws are. This is the second day. We would have got it done yesterday, but he had to work yesterday. So we had to end the video so he could go to work. One screw that ain't going to tighten very well. Might have to put a little bit longer one in there. So now, what we're going to do is keep that neck from spinning. It came with different with, with screws in here to keep that neck from moving. Just got to be careful when you put them back in that you don't hit that brake line. Uh, let's see. So I'm a little bit more of an angle. That way I stay into that round part that don't necessarily move you can see where the screws are already in the front of the neck his friends are over there watching don't worry we're putting them back together <laughs> he looks pretty happy roasting his marshmallow Quite a bit of light. I might should have closed that blind, but screwing back actually didn't make the neck either. Is it bad that my husky's so used to Halloween stuff that? She's just laying down, taking a nap. Bless you. Except for yesterday, what, you dropped the head or something and made her jump? Yeah, she was. I really <laughs> like that one. Well, it might be a little better. I didn't close the blind all the way. I have to do a house tour so everybody can see. What the house looks like at night. I have a rib screw that doesn't seem long enough now that I have that motor in there, so I may have to change this screw out. But I can always do that once we uh, finish this video. Now, once that's in there, you got the head connected to the motor. Um, everything's tight. We'll work on putting the rest of the skeleton back together. This doesn't look weird at all. <laughs> now, there is a screw that runs down through the center, 
um, into the spine. You just have to be careful with that one so you don't hit the wire. Um, up here for a second. Here's a couple more screws that go on his back. So, to attach them to his lower half. Get lined up. Pause it while you finish this part, and that way we don't have a 45 minute video. We'll be right back. Okay, once you got your skeleton reassembled, then really it's a predetermination on how far you want the wires to run. Um, typically, we just put it in the passenger seat and try to screw with people as we drive down the road. So, or actually, when we're at like a drive through or something like that. So, we'll go ahead and yeah, give it about that much wire. I don't know, it's probably two, three feet. If you have a little excess, you can always roll it up. We're going to use a screw box. And I've already pre drilled a hole in the front because the potentiometer where you can adjust the speed will come in there. Um, this is where your wires will go in and out. And I cut a hole for the switch, which turns it on and off. So, that being said, Let's, uh, we'll strip this wire. Twist it. We'll twist that one. Cut another piece because we got to wind up having to attach it to our. Uh, Cigarette lighter adapter. And then as far as your cigarette lighter adapter, it's or however far your box is going to be away from where you plug in your cigarette lighter. So if you want someone messing with it that's in the back seat, then you're going to have to make it longer than if someone's switching, moving the switch in the front seat. Just keep that in mind. Okay, this has a little nut on it. Unscrew it. Because once we put it in here, we'll have to tighten it back up. There's a plus and a minus, and there's an in and out. Um, this side's in, this side's out. We're gonna go out to the skeleton. So that's the side you wanna use for the skeleton is this wire. Okay, I'm going to go back in. I'm cut the wire just a little too long, <laughs> so I need to trim that off. You can tell he's not used to me videotaping. If I'm zooming, you have to move slower for me to catch up. Put that in there. Tighten that up. Too long, this one's gonna to be too long, so let's trim this one down. And it's pretty durable. We move it, we'll put it in the back seat or put it in the garage if, like, both of us are in the truck. Lane ran around with me all last year, and in fact, she's already I usually call him he, but I put a sun hat on her this year, so she's already in the truck. She went in the truck in August. Okay, 
Do you notice something that he didn't do a few minutes ago? This is a hint. have it in the box. <laughs> this is a clean channel. <laughs> oh, I called him out. He was trying hard not to say something. So, then the wires for your cigarette lighter. Once again, let's cut those too long. Better too long than too short. So, red goes to positive, which is listed on the bottom. Black, negative. And I thought about opening up another channel just so people who just want house and garden stuff don't have to watch Halloween. Okay. You know? This unplugs. And the reason it unplugs is so you can put the switch in through the box. Which, like I said, I pre cut. But it doesn't look like I pre cut it big enough. So I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Now I got the switch mounted inside the box. It's a, what, a two way switch. It has an on off or on left and right. So I'm going to pull these down. Get to where we put the potentiometer in here. Turn the nut back on. You could figure out something a little nicer to do, but this is what he came up with last year when tasked. So last year I wanted something manually to be able to move the head, and he went to work, and the guys at work kind of challenged him a little bit. Actually, um, it was the at work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the girls at work challenged him. Oh, he went to work and was like, yeah, she wants the skeleton's head to move while she's in the car. And so they challenged him. They're like, oh, you know, he's he's kind of a MacGyver for the for the older generation at work. And, they, and then they teased him. They're like, you can't figure out something to MacGyver that with. For the younger generation, I guess you'll just have to go to the YouTubes and and look up a show called MacGyver. But for everybody who's what 40 some late 40s and older they are everybody knows who macgyver is then you cut the other end for your uh, cigarette lighter adapter Let's split that apart strip these wires also usually i'm a big hit at like mcdonald's and places like that because usually the younger generation really likes it Take your adapter. Okay, move slowly for me if you move, cause red, to red. Oh, so you're just lightly crimping. You want to crimp that to where it holds the wire. You don't want the wire falling out. You can even oh, slightly, a... slightly bend over the wire if you want. Oh, I didn't get it crimped tight enough. You always want to give it a little tug. This is the the metal on this adapter is pretty flimsy. So I might actually end up taking a screwdriver and open it back up just a little bit just so I can get the wire back in there. The 
this is another area where you could solder this if you wanted to. Um, crimping usually does okay. It does have a little heat shrink tubing with it. So to make this a little bigger, I bent the wire over because the connection here is awful big. So. Okay. And he's not on a fixed surface, so. Oh, did you crimp it? No, not yet. Oh, okay. I was trying to get to a point where I could actually show crimping it. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to show you exactly, exactly what he's doing, but. That's a good connection. So, this is, like I said, like heat shrink tubing. We can heat that up, shrink it around there. But before we do that, um, I say we take it out and test it. Let's make sure everything works. Yep, sounds great. Okay, so here's my other one. The only downside is with her hat. She's a hot mess. Uh, we did have to put a rolled up blanket behind her and it's literally zip tied to her ribs. Okay, I took her hat off so you guys could see it better. Now the light, the eyes on this one do light up, but the batteries are dead. So the new one, there's something not quite right and the head is not spinning. So I wanted to go ahead and show you this one. Um, I had her dress for summer. The hat does kind of make it a little hard. She probably needs a baby hat. Um, but she'll be transferred over. I had last year, I had what a clown bow tie on her, a big bow tie, and then that's it. So he needs to troubleshoot this one. What we're gonna do is, I just wanted to show you what it looked like when it's done. I'll do a follow up video, show you the new one moving, and what the troubleshoot was. And then maybe in that video, Big Ed can tell you what he did and other ideas if you're also going to have problems with your truck you know need to troubleshoot maybe yours isn't quite working exactly um this is the setup he does have a little extra cord but that just gives me room if i want to put her in the back seat and somebody's here and we still want to work it so we just left cord um, but you don't, he would, I don't think he left quite what you left two foot maybe, I think on that yeah, other one. Leave a whole lot on this one. But we are having trouble with this guy. Well, and part of the reason is the motor starting to spin. Like I said, I got one bolt back here that isn't real tight. So that could be part of the reason why the motor's spinning, um, which ain't allowing the head to move. But we're going to troubleshoot it. We're going to break it down a little further. We're going to make sure that everything's tight and everything moves. Everything's straight as far as the brake line and all that. And then we'll uh, let you know what, what all we did to fix this issue. We'll definitely do a follow-up, and then he can tighten up the motor and stuff. Um, this video is headed to 24 minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and end this just because it's getting really long. I will do a follow-up um, and link it to all of the other videos in order um, once I start uploading today. And then we'll give you a, a what he found and kind of a follow-up uh I'm going to go ahead and end this, guys, but we'll show you the finished product with Skelly 1 and Skelly 2 um, in the next video.